What is up, everybody? It's me. I'm back, and I'm here to tell y'all a little bit about something that doesn't belong to your mother. Okay? Alright, so first off, I want to start off by telling y'all something. So I've been thinking long and hard about changing my name instead of Cobzilla, just to Kobe Lomax, my first and last name. Um, just because I feel like it has a little bit more of a professional, you know, tone to it, and it will really, you know, be beneficial, like, down the long run, because, like, I plan on being an investor and um, starting selling, buying businesses and investing in businesses to help people, you know, make their dreams come true and, like, you know, build their dream empires and whatever and whatnot. So I really feel like that would be beneficial for me to have just my first and my last name and um especially to do it before i get famous i want y'all to comment down below every single time i record this phone rings like every time like why only when i record this phone never rings until it's time for me to record a f***ing video Jeez. but anyways the not your mother's naturals tahitian gardenia flour and mango butter line. So here I have the curl defining shampoo, the curl defining conditioner, and the curl defining combing cream. So let's start off with the shampoo. This is the best shampoo on the market. Like, let me tell you, when I was washing my hair with this, it was sun enough like a regular shampoo. So I'm like, okay, okay, you know, it's going to set up as a shampoo and all that stuff. But when I tell you, like, this stuff felt so good on my head. Like, you can see I'm detangling with shampoo in my hair. A whole head of shampoo, and I'm just detangling like it's conditioner. Like, this was better detangler than the actual conditioner in this line. How'd that happen? But, yeah, this shampoo is honestly the best shampoo I've ever used in my entire life. I recommend this shampoo for any and everybody. It's just so good. Like, it makes you feel like, you know, it's doing what it's supposed to do. And when you rinse your hair, I mean, your hair is clean. But at the same time, it, it, it's just so nourishing. Like, this is the definition of a moisturizing, a nourishing, or whatever shampoo. Like, it get the job done and it stay moisturized. It's like, almost like a co-wash. But it's shampooing. Like, it, guys, this blew me away. Not your mother's naturals. They started doing stuff for natural hair. Y'all really won me over with this. This is the best shampoo on the market. Let's talk about the smell. The shampoo smells better than any of the other products in this line by far. So the shampoo, it has like a bubblegum type smell. It, it brings you back to your childhood memories, honestly. Like this shampoo smells great in my opinion. Um, it says curl defining. Now, I used to not be picky about my shampoos, but once I use this, like you can look like, Parts of my hair that's normally not that curly, like they started to curl off a of motherfucking shampoo. I was like, yes, motherfucker. So this really just blew me away. It says to restore bounce to enhance and define curls. It definitely did that. And it's so fake free, silicone free, paraben free, paraben free, synthetic dyes free. And uh, yeah, it says undress formula and it's free of all that stuff. Now, here, oh, it also says it's free of glutens and phthalates. So, it says a gentle formula for everyday use, which I would, like, y'all, y'all know I hated shampoo. Like, there was a point in my life where I was like, eh, boycotting shampoo. This says gen gentle formula for everyday use. I would use this every day. Um, but we're not gonna do that because we don't need to shampoo our hair every single day and you just need to, you know, leave it alone sometimes. Let it do its thing. Um, it says plant derived ingredient alternatives, which is great. It has a, uh, it has mango seed butter and some gardenia flower extract and great stuff. It's environmentally friendly formula. Yes, the finished product is never tested on animals. Great job. And it's a recyclable container, so I will be recycling this because y'all, waste is a big problem and uh, we are just filthy enough this world yo honestly yes 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 this yes let's talk about the conditioner now so the conditioner was all right i didn't really like it it has a weird consistency like when you put it in your hands and then rub it through your hair it, it it's it's kind of weird it, 
and you feel like it doesn't really spread like you put it on you put it on you feel like once you did this like it's all in your hair and like you have no more left for your hand i don't know it's weird but i mean it works you know and it helped me detangle it smells weird it really does smell weird i don't know why they didn't make everything else smell like the shampoo but maybe they did and it just turned out differently but the conditioner smells a little weird it says it's supposed to do the same thing that the shampoo does it has a little bit of different ingredients but overall uh same thing same stuff same ingredients uh like same key ingredients it says curl defining conditioner when i rinsed my hair out with cold water after using this my curls were popping um so yeah i mean i like this conditioner it's definitely not the best out there but it is pretty good and it does help those curls you know kind of bounce like if your hair is a little damaged or kind of limp or just doesn't curl the way you want it to i mean i would recommend you this conditioner um it just smells a little weird it has a weird texture but other than that it's quality stuff i mean it's pretty good i don't think i would repurchase it just because i know there's better out there but it's not bad I mean, you guys can give it a try. And the last product I'm gonna talk about is the Not Your Mother's Naturals Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Combing Cream. Now this product right here did absolutely nothing for me. I'm sorry, I gotta say it. No, it did moisturize my hair. This product will have your hair feeling really moisturized. Um, so that is a check, but it doesn't mix well with a lot of stuff. And I don't know if maybe I used too much, but my hair was feeling a little weird afterwards. Like it felt like, like, I don't know. It just felt weird. I was like, ugh, ugh, ugh. But this product felt weird. Um, when I put it in my hair and combed it through my hair, I mean like it, 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 you know, I was easily able to comb through my hair, but after it was like, okay, what's the point? I had a big like puff, like I had to finger coil my, my curls, and even when I finger coiled my curls, it didn't really do much. So this I would definitely not repurchase. Now I feel like if you have longer hair or like a, like a, like if you have like a th type 3A, 3B, 2C, I feel like this is really good for wavy hair people or like loose curls. Or like you know like big spirals and things of that nature or I feel like this is a really good moisturizer for if you're doing a protective style I like guess you're gonna do braids twists or something like that where your hair is gonna be put away um, and you just need a good moisturizer this I would I would definitely give it to that this says it's supposed to will aid in detangling which it sure did ensure intense softness which it did make my hair really soft it felt kind of weird but it was really soft I think I might have just used too much of it and then it said also it will create frizz free curl retention and prepare hair for a definitive vivacious style sorry i'm like looking at it so far but all these flashing lights in my eyes it, it makes it hard to see a little bit but this did not give me free curl frizz free curl retention it didn't even give me frizz free curls but yeah i mean overall i probably wouldn't buy this again unless now this summer i might actually repurchase this so to have my hair moisturized in my protective styles but then again that maui moisture hair butter is just Boy, if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go check it out. But um, yeah, I, I kind of don't think I'll be repurchasing this. The conditioner, I don't think I'll repurchase it, be repurchasing it either. I mean, unless maybe when my hair gets longer, I'll retry this stuff before. TWA, I, I, I mean, the, condi no, the conditioner is definitely good, doable. But the comb, combing cream, I don't know if not your mother's made a gel to go with this i feel like that would be an a1 uh line they have a detangling spray but i don't really need that so but if they had a gel to go along with this product i feel like it would be great but this product doesn't mix with a lot of stuff it kept beating up and like immediately i tried it with the eco styler argan oil gel and it just beat it up like immediately like it just didn't blend they don't mix so i mean i i can't really do much for this project product but the shampoo, not your mother's. I don't know what y'all did to this, but this stuff right here, I will, I will buy this every single week if I have to. Do. This stuff is amazing, like amazing. I have never, ever, 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 ever in my entire life came across a product like this, and this shampoo is a real deal, y'all. Like I'm trying to tell y'all, it will blow you away, like. So yeah, that's the end of this review. I just wanted to come, you know, tell y'all what I thought about the Not Your Mother's Naturals 
curly hairline. Um, the shampoo is the best shampoo I've ever used in, this, in my entire life. And it's probably the best shampoo on this planet today. So you guys um, should go check that out. I'll leave all the products linked down below uh, for this line that I use. And yeah, also don't do not forget to comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about my me changing my name to Kobe Lomax. Please give this video a thumbs up because I know you enjoy it. And I know you enjoy that dance, so just go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Give me that thumbs up, bro. You know it. And last but not least, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that. What you want from me. Okay, I'm not a rapper. I just need to give it up. Why do I always try to rap in my video? I'm not even good at it. That's all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see y'all in the next one. What?